next, right here in the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center. I have here with me Stephen Feinberg. Hi, Stephen. Hello, hello, hello. Of course, Executive Director of the Rhode Island Film and Television Office. Uh, we have a lot to talk about today. A lot going on. A lot going on. We are gearing up for the Oscars. That's true. March 4th, Sunday night. It's so exciting uh, for anyone who loves film and acting. It is a very exciting event, but particularly exciting for us Rhode Islanders because we have quite a few Rhode Island connections this year. Well, think about this. I don't know what they're doing as far as presentations are concerned, but Viola Davis won last year. There's a very good chance that she will um, be doing the um, uh, Best Supporting Actor and Richard Jenkins, who's also from Rhode Island, who's in the shape of water, yes. she could be handing him the Oscar. So Amazing. Like, that's pretty cool. Yes, Stephen Jenkins, I mean, Richard. I'm sorry, Richard Jenkins, yeah. uh, nominated for Best Supporting Actor for The Shape of Water. This is huge. And he is great. I know that um, he thinks he's not, he thinks he's not going to win. He thinks Sam Rockwell's going hmm. to win. But we're rooting for Richard. Of His course. performance was great. And, um, there were so many wonderful films this year, and we're having a big event at the Biltmore, and we want you to come. Absolutely. We're going to talk about this event. This is a, the Red Carpet Experience. Um, this is something that you have been doing for a few years now in collaboration with uh, Flickr's Rhode yeah. Island International Film Festival. Yeah. Um, and, it's, and it sounds like a lot of fun, a, a kind of movie-inspired Way it's, to enjoy the Oscars. It's the red carpet experience. It's <laughs> at the Biltmore, Sunday night, March 4th. We're having um, uh, red carpet uh, cocktails start at 5.30. Um, then it's followed by a really beautiful dinner and awards presentation. We're giving Producer Circle Awards uh, this year, as a matter of fact, um, uh, to Trinity Rep. Uh, so they, they will be there. Um, Mike Maino, who works for, does a, a show called um, Conducting Conversations. He plays like a lot of film music. Um, we've <laughs> got uh, um, also uh, The Road Show. Okay. And um, there's a few other surprises, but it's going to be a really great night at the Biltmore dinner, auction item, silent auction items, really cool movie stuff. And, uh, and then you get to see the, the program on the big screen. And... We see people in their tuxedos. We see yeah, people in their black gowns. tie. Yeah, it's, it's, it's sort great. of like getting the Oscar experience in in right here in Providence. Right, and it's covered on TV at five thirty, and um, and it goes throughout the night. And like last year, we were rooting for Viola, and that was right. wonderful. It's a good time. And I lived in LA for twenty two years. <laughs> There's nothing like it. If you can't be in LA, go to the Biltmore. Exactly. That's exactly. Um, I would like to talk a little bit too about uh, Rhode Island International Film Festival because they are um, there are a few categories that oh, yes. you can um, be qualified for, and there are seven films. Yes, this and year I have to compliment uh, George Marshall, who's the executive director of the uh, Rhode Island International Film Festival, and Sean Quirk, who's the programmer. And what they've done, they've had over they had over five thousand films from around the world last year. And I think they called about 220 of those 5,000 to show at the uh, film festival. And one of the films just blew me away. We, we showed it opening night at PPAC. It was called The Silent Child. I saw it. You saw it, right? Stunning. Great, great Stunning movie. Film. And they just sent a picture, the filmmakers and also the actress. Um, they're, they're, they're now engaged. But they were with Steven Spielberg at the Oscar brunch. It was like, how Amazing. cool is that? Yeah. <laughs> and... Um, so, so some of the films, like you said, are uh, short films from the live action um, area and also animated. And they, yeah. most of the films that win those um, prizes over the years have premiered at the Rhode Island International Film Festival. So we're rooting for them too. Absolutely. Come right through, you know, this film festival here and, and next stop, Oscar nomination. Right, right. It's pretty it's cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and there's not a lot of film festivals that are Oscar qualifying. Right. So they're Oscar qualifying, they're BAFTA, which is the British Academy yeah. Award qualifying, and I believe there's like a, one more, and I think they're only like one of nine that has these three qualifying um, awards. Yeah, I mean, just to put that in perspective, there are thousands of film festivals throughout the country. and World. Right? Yeah, throughout the world, and a small handful of those are 
you know, do you get the qualification? So and they're really highly respected and right. recognized. Yeah, I think what's really cool is we've had filmmakers from across the world come to the United States for the first time, and their first port of call is Providence, Rhode Island. I mean, so that's cool. amazing. You meet <laughs> these people, and, and then, they, then they go to PPAC to see their film on a, in a palace on a big screen. <laughs> yes. And if you've gone to film festivals across the world, yeah. it's very rare you're going to see a, a movie shown in that way. Type of environment, yes. yes that's absolutely. crazy. Um, so, again, with the connections, um, you talked about animation. Um, another Rhode Island connection is an animator for Coco, uh, the Disney Pixar film. He went to RISD. And there is sort of a Coco theme with the event. This is true. I, I believe it's a it's the Day of the Dead, right? Right. And so there's going to be, um, I think, little Coco type of things um, <laughs> at all the tables. Um, there's also going to be, in a, in a really cool way, in, in a, uh, a nice way, we're going to be honoring some of the people that have passed this uh, this year, like Roger Moore and mm. folks like that, film people. So we're paying our respects in a very uh, nice way. And um, uh, but again, it's going to be kind of prizes there, and <laughs> it's going to be fun and drinks, and it's all good all stuff. All the fun yeah. stuff. So let's say I want to be involved. I have a ball gown, just dying to jump out of the closet so I can walk the red carpet. How do I get involved? Where can I get tickets? You, you go to uh, film dash festival.org okay film-festival.org and then there's a button for I believe it says red carpet you hit Perfect. that button you can get your tickets and you better get them quickly because um, I think we only have 200 total okay. um, so and, and like Viola Davis's sister is going to be there Dolores and we got a lot of cool people coming. <laughs> we want you to come down because you're cool. We want more cool people. More cool people. That's yeah. what we want. Yeah. It sounds like a great time. It's going to um, be fun. Is there going to be paparazzi? There'll be paparazzi, and Channel 6 is covering it live. Um, I think it's at 530. But you know what else is really cool, too? We have some films that are coming. So some of those movie stars who are going to be starting a film in March, I think, will be there. Um, and then cool. we're going to be making some announcements too. Which Fantastic. I'm, yeah, it's good stuff. It really sounds like a great time. Stephen, thank you so much for being here today. Great to be here. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Uh, that was my show. Be sure to check out Kate Nagel at the 4 o'clock hour for news and politics. And I will see you uh, next time right here in the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center. Thanks so much.